Hey guys, Harry here for Hardcore Cores updates and reviews. Tonight I'm going to be doing a review on Alex Wesley's Guts and Gore and Guts and Gore 2. Alex Wesley, as uh, some of you might know, is a Russian filmmaker. Um, he did Zombie Infection, Dr. Tumor, and a whole bunch of other splatter films. Um, in the last couple of years, um, until recently he got his films released um, in America, which is really cool. Um, he's generally a filmmaker that does uh, kind of homage to German splatter films like Andre Sinais and uh, Timo Rose and Olaf Ittenbach um, and Andreas Bethmann. Uh, that's what his films are basically um, based on and 80s slasher, kind of 80s horror films too. But, um, uh, Guts and Gore, there was, there was two of them on this DVD. There was Guts and Gore 1 and 2. Um, it looked like the first Guts and Gore, um, was filmed a while ago. Uh, it was kind of rainy. Uh, maybe a few years ago he filmed this. And it's about a killer named Elmer who has a rare disease. Um, and he feeds his brother human flesh um, it was okay uh, it, it was basically um, had a lot of entrails in it um, it had like the, the effects were okay uh, like I said it looked like an older film the story was you know it was, it was decent it, it kept me entertained uh, weird characters um, but part two, Guts and Gore part two, um, is about the same guy, Elmer, who hunts down perverts and kills them because he was, because an alien crashed on Earth or something like that and told, told this guy to, um, told this guy to have Elmer kill perverts because the alien got raped or something like that. <laughs> it was kind of, uh. It's kind of hard to follow it at times because I think of the language barrier. Uh, there was subtitles on both films, but um, I was having a hard time following some of it. Uh, but um, because I think the translation is kind of strange off sometimes. But uh, it was good. Um, the killer, like in the first one, walks around with a gas mask on, um, dismembering people, um, and, and lots of, like uh, entrails again. Uh, as far as the gore goes, uh, there was a cool scene where he cuts himself open to kill her Elmer, and sews himself back up and takes out his intense intestines because I guess he's dead. Um, but yeah, the the, the the I like Alex Wesley as uh, his style. I mean, he always has like these strange characters. Uh, they're like mutated, ghoulish type. Um, characters in his uh, in his films and he had a lot of them in here um, just like the makeup effects on these people are just really really good and really strange and just kind of give you an eerie feeling um, like I said he's just starting out uh, I support his films I like him I've talked to him on Facebook he's a really nice guy um, he's very grateful to have fans in America so I'm going to continue to get his films from him. Um, like I said, if you're fans of German Splatter or any low-budget gore films, uh, give this a whirl. It's really gory. Pretty fun watch. So I've got some more. I uh, just have to say, um, I'm sorry I didn't get the chance to go to Cinema Wasteland to meet some of you guys. Uh, I was really disappointed that I didn't get a chance to go. But um, I'm definitely going to go um, in the fall. Um, Brian DePaul is going to be there, and I want to really meet him. I never met him before, so hopefully I'll get a chance to meet him among others. Um, it's kind of disappointing I didn't get to go see the guys from Toe Tag celebrating their 13 years. I'm going to pick up some of their shirts. But, um, yeah, uh, hopefully I'll be able to make the next one. And I'll probably get some more reviews out this week. DVD update at the end of the week. I'm going to wait and see if some of the shit that I ordered came in. So hopefully I'll have another review for you guys tomorrow. With that, have a gory one.